Yeah. So, uh, can you tell me what are the software testing methodologies? Uh, Dropbox testing, the white box okay. testing, and the gray box testing. Gray box testing. Super. So, I think you have already known about black box testing. Okay. So, yeah. nothing but black box testing. See, the person who doesn't know or who don't know about any technical knowledge or any coding knowledge, he simply he will come, okay, you do this, you follow this instruction, test this, if it is working, fine or not. If anything, you are fi finding anything, you can tell me. So, this kind of testing is called black box testing. This kind of testing is called black box. So, the technique of testing without having technical knowledge on application. So, he doesn't know the application flow. He doesn't know. Simply, he will go through and do the random, uh, not random. He will go with the flow and test the uh, functionalities. That is called black box testing. How will perform? So, testing team will perform the black box testing. <laughs> okay. So, how to perform the black box testing? So, it covers both functional and non-functional testing, okay, which will be considered both features or function and which should be concentrated on performance, usability, and maintainability. Any doubts related to black box testing? No, sir. It's clear for now. Okay. Now we will no, go to yes. Yes. Okay. Now we will see the advantages and disadvantages of black box system. Okay. <coughs> advantages well suited and efficient for large core segments. Suppose if it is a big project, more number of pages, more number of features, more number of functionalities, then this black box system will be useful. And it does not require code access. And it will be clearly separate from the perceptive of developer's view and large number of moderately skilled testers can test. So basic, like freshers can also, the person who doesn't know what is testing, he can also do the kind of testing. Such kind of testing is called black box testing and the advantage is this. Disadvantage. So limited coverage since only selected test scenarios will be covered. Inefficient testing. So the person who is testing, he was not able to test it thoroughly. He, he will do the testing in the top level. He will not test in the bottom level or some logical thinkings also. So blind coverage, tester cannot the target specific code. Means they doesn't know how the back end of functionality is working. Simply, okay, they can click on login, they will go. Okay, it will go to the next page, but they don't know how the things will be go there and how the every click will be connected to the DB. Okay, and the test cases are very difficult to design for the persons who are doing the black box testing. Any questions here? Is it good to go for next? Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. So, see, uh, here the black box testing techniques are three types. So, you can see, right, equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, error guessing. Okay. So, I will tell you later in the equivalence partitioning. <coughs> Let us discuss about boundary value analysis. Okay. So what is meant by this boundary value analysis? Okay. So whenever you are going uh, a lift, okay. So if you want to test a lift, can you tell me how can you test the lift? Anyone? Yes, sir. We will yes. enter the boundary value. Boundary means it's edges. I mean, uh, ending yeah. and uh, starting. So. We will check, we will enter the uh, lift, then we will press it how it is performing, how it is working. Uh, then we will go first ground floor to until how many floors, for example, if there is 10 floors, we will check each floor until. Okay. 
10th floor general way but if we if we go the uh, boundary value related and boundary means we will check only boundary starting and okay. ending we need to check okay good somewhat you have covered okay suppose assume that the boundary value analysis is uh, there is a lift with 10 floors okay yes. so we need to check each every floor from minus 1 that means ground floor to 10th yes. floor so minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 10. Okay, that is fine. Suppose, same thing you need to test. If you click on fourth floor, so does it exactly stopping on the fourth floor or not? If you click on third floor, does it exactly stopping on the third floor or not? Suppose, uh, everyone knows about, uh, if you see in the lift, the weight is some weight, 600 kgs or 10%. In case, if it is more weight, what will happen? Does the lift has to be work or it should stop? So these things will be covered under the boundary value analysis. If suppose more than 10 persons is occupied in the lift, then what will happen, right? That is called boundary value analysis. And coming to error guessing, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> error guessing. So the name itself, it is telling like error guessing. What is meant by guessing what is meant by yes. guessing like code is functionality okay uh, so we rest. don't don't go into the code and it's just where the error will be speak in the we we, general we, we way don't, we don't Possible know what is will, what will happen what will happen but we just imagine how it goes if there okay. is a, lots of simple I will tell you one cooking example. Suppose when you are trying a new dish, if you are adding ingredients, if I add this, what will happen? If I do this, what will happen? Right? Yes, sir. We will assume. Yes. Assumptions. Yes. 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 Kind of. right? We give negative values without requirement. And yes. we do means error guessing. Yes. Yes. Suppose. Suppose. When you are entering your OTPs or if you are entering in your bank pins, okay, so already your account or ATM card will have some unique pin number. If you are entering some other number, but your ATM pin is working, so is it a defect or not? It's a defect. It's a defect. Right. right. So what will happen when you try that one immediately you will get an alert message. You have entered the wrong pin. You will have uh, another two attempts. Even though if you try it for another two attempts, what will happen? Your will card will be blocked for 24 yes. hours. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes, similarly, sir. similarly, when, when you are booking something, something, okay, you are booking a hotel or something, Sometimes there will be some error guessings will become okay if you enter for three days. Sometimes it will be booked for four days. Then uh, if you are booking in online, then the hotel people sorry you have booked for four days and you are checking in th check outing in third day. You need to pay it for other day. So whose mistake is this? Is it a manual intervention or software's mistake? Software system. So error guessing means if I do like this what will happen does it showing the proper error or not so we need to guess that one so that guessing and thinking will come by experience okay so i shown you right one example related to uh ssc board hall ticket right did i yeah, shown or not yes sir. yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. so you want me to show it again yes sir Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay, so tell me which district you want me to select. East Gother. Kuntur. Okay. We'll go for the first option. 
and i am randomly selecting or you want me to select anything randomly sir okay i will go for narsa pro okay so i am just picking the person santosh oh this name is different entry susmita okay so i am just giving the susmita date of birth as 1970 Okay, do you think Sushmita age is really 1970? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. What, what, should, what should be the age of Sushmita? I mean, what should be the date of birth? Year. So, approximately 2008 or 2009, right? 64. It means 10 years. 9 years. 2008 or 2009. Right? Yeah. So, just I click on download. You can see, right? If I give her 1970, also it is allowing to me. And I can able to see her all details. So uh, her name, father name, mother name, and the entire her hall ticket number, everything I can able to see it. Right? So these, these are live example, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Similarly, these kind of things are a lot of things in software application. We see what usually do we will go on we will give uh, our correct data worth okay i am giving my right data worth and i am getting the altogether but if you being as a tester if i give like this what will happen okay if it doesn't working then it is fine if it is working then it is a defect right yeah no, we will completely assume the yeah so i already told right we are always think about the negative prospect. We don't yes. we don't be happy with the happy workflow. If everything, if anything is working fine, uh, we should not be. Okay. Now yeah. coming to <laughs> white box testing. Okay. So this white box testing mostly 90 to 95 percent. This white box testing will be do by the developers only or the other name of white box testing is glass box testing okay so the person or the candidate or the resource who was having or who has ability or knowledge in the coding level they can only do this white box testing but in some organizations the in the testing team also some persons or some resources will have some knowledge in the coding they can also do white box testing but i'm telling right 90 to 95 percent this white box testing will be done by the developers when they will do okay whenever the development team is giving a build or giving a code before to the qa team they will do one round of testing whatever the implementation or to whatever the logic they have implemented or whatever the feature they implemented or whatever the functionality they implemented before deploying into the QA environment from the dev environment, the person or the developer who was designed that one or who had written the code on that one, he will do one round of testing and he will check on it and then only he will deploy to the QA environment. It's that kind of testing is called white box testing. Any questions on that? It's clear. Okay, next, gray box system. What is meant by gray box system? See, the, the combination of the combination, simple, we can say it in simple, the combination of both white box and white box is called gray box system. The combination of or the combine of black box testing and gray box testing is called Sorry, white box testing is called gray box testing. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, we will go for the levels of testing. Okay. I think Chris has covered this one. I already said it is like a brush up or refresh session. Okay. So, coming to unit testing, what is meant by unit? In general, 
అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ద ప్రాసెస్ పర్పస్ బట్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ ఎంటరింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద టెస్టింగ్ డొమైన్ so if the initial level you will be like a black box session okay. okay if you are new to the project you doesn't know anything so they will give you kt and they will give you some small task to you to adapt to the environment okay if you are working in the same project for 1 to 2 years then only <laughs> then only you will also know how the back end functionality is working what where the code we need to check what is the logs we need to find in the code level okay so you will came to know it by experience chinna okay okay panna but before you have already a background of programming language then it will be easy for you if you doesn't have the programming language background then you can learn it by experience okay okay panna yeah. yeah thank you yeah. coming to unit test yeah tell me what is meant by unit uh, don't give the answers related to software appa సరి ఇన్నీ సిలబస్ దిస్ ఇస్ స్మాల్ స్మాల్ యూనిట్స్ ఇన్ దేర్ దిస్ లైక్ యూనిట్ సపోజ్ యూ కెన్ సి రైట్ ఎవ్రీబడి yeah everybody is fear of maths particularly m1 subject or integration <laughs> part right so if you are familiar with uh, geometry part and if you are non familiar with uh, calculus part so that is separate and this is separate right so similarly <coughs> when you are testing a functionality when you are testing a some feature and only individually you are testing only particular that feature or particular that functionality is called unit test clear so yeah. suppose in a team okay chinna veeresh uh, ram sunita lakshmi there are five team members okay so uh, chinna is working on login uh, veeresh is working on logout okay uh, lakshmi is working on payment ram is working on uh adding cart okay and uh, some other is working on searching for the products so individually these individual components task given by the team lead to the team to you need to test it this functionality you need to identify particularly for this functionality only so doing that particularly single component testing or single module testing is called unit test okay is it clear mm-hmm. yes yes it's clear then yes sir yes sir yeah. yeah then we'll go for modular component testing so component testing means okay each application or some application suppose in the login only what will be the fields is there mail id పేమెంట్ మాడ్యూల్ సో ఇంటర్నల్లీ ఇన్సైడ్ దట్ మాడ్యూల్ సమ్ అప్లికేషన్ సమ్ ఫీచర్స్ విల్ బి దేర్ you need to test all so sir, doing such kind of testing is called component testing or module testing is it clear yes mm-hmm. okay yes, coming to integration testing what is meant by integration sir why I'm pina not. again I'm you are not. taking mac you are taking back to plus 1 or plus 2 i am fed up with integration in plus 2 what is meant by integration 
combination of all combining, the modules. Combining, yeah. combining all the modules. Combining, combining all the modules. Yeah. All the modules. Com yeah. Combining the dissimilar or similar elements together is called integration, right? Yes, yes. Yes. So here, assumption that log in is a module, log out is a module. Suppose, Chinna, you have logged in some application, but log out is not working. You feel it is a that application is user friendly? No, mm -hmm. absolutely no. Okay. No. Okay. Similarly, vice versa. You are able to suppose uh, take a scenario like this. Uh, Chinna, you just log into the application, you search for something and you logged out. Okay. Again, okay. you went there, you given credentials, you are unable to log in. Is it really acceptable? No, no. No, right? So, yes. this integration testing is stitching, stitching between two modules. So, if, if, user is able to log in and it has to be stitched the code between logout functionality also. Are you understanding what I am saying? Yes, Pina, yeah. Yes. Okay. Suppose, going back to the ATM. So, ATM card is a module A. Assumption that ATM card is a module A. Okay. And ATM mission is module B. And where you are getting the money from the ATM is module C. So if three gets integrated, then only you will get the cash or not. Yeah. Okay. If, if anywhere, any module is not integrated, did you get your cash? No, sir. No, sir. No, right? So you need to insert the card that is module A. And the ATM mission will check your card and you need to enter the pin and you need to enter the amount, whatever you want. And you will get the cash. So you can see, right, three modules are here. So each module is integrated. Okay. One second, one second, just we know. Yeah. Sorry, Tim. Yeah. So, are you clear now? Integration testing? Yes, yes, Pena. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, in the integration yes. testing, there are two types are there. One is top down and bottom up. Now, what is this top down and bottom? Okay. When you are a testing the application or a feature or a functionality from the initial level to final level, from the starting level to end level, okay, that is called top down. Okay. And doing the same process from ending reverse, ending to initial level, final to starting level is called bottom up. We don't know, right, when switching with the tabs or switching between the applications, something will be happening because software, software is made by human. So as usually we know, right, human will do errors, human do will mistakes. So whatever the software developed by the humans, there should be some mistakes will be there. We need to check that one. So to and fro motion. So we need to check from the starting level to final level that is called top down testing when you are we need to test from the final to starting reversal so that is called bottom up any doubts here it's not okay no sir you can you can see here you can see here see module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 1 so from the top level to top 6 okay so you need to know, remember this one, stops and drivers, okay? Testing takes place from top to bottom is called stops or top-down approach. Testing takes place from down to 
up or bottom to up that is called drivers it is an interview prospective question what is steps what is drivers testing from top level to bottom level is called steps testing from bottom level to top level is called drivers any questions here can you can you tell the example in an example okay so uh we will take an e-commerce website only uh viresh viresh only ask right yes no this is navin navin yeah navin uh navin so just take an example like e-commerce website amazon or flipkart whatever the e card mostly the e-commerce functionality is same so you just log in with your mobile phone number and you can create an user account you can search and you can search for the products and add to the cart and do the payment yes. that is top yeah. level yeah. okay from the initial level to end level okay suppose take a situation navin okay. you went to some flip cart you selected a mobile phone okay you added to the cart again you will come back to the search and you will search for shoes and you added to the cart again you went to the search and you have ordered earphones and it added to the cart again you came back and added some other product like uh, uh, hoodies or sweat sweat t-shirts okay but after seeing the amount okay you want to remove some other product so mm -hmm. if you remove it from the cart page so okay it was removed okay so how many how many products will be show in the, your cart page three right yeah yeah okay okay so again you went back to the home page and again you come back to the cart page if in this situation whatever you deleted the product again came into the cart page so you feel this application is really good no we don't know this will be happen or not but we need to test in that scenario okay you got my point yes yes right yeah yeah okay. also can yeah. you explain about i mean with example stub and driver yeah so you can see right stub definition a stub is called from a software component to be tested so particular component okay one component has to be tested suppose uh, search functionality okay yeah. uh, navin if you search for the shoes but it is showing some irrelevant product do you agree for that no okay no. right that is called particular component you need to test driver a driver calls the component to be tested same thing if you search for the shoes that shoes is whatever suppose if you search for the nike instead of nike something hike is coming do you agree for that no that is called driver see it was correlated one which was relevant but slight hairpin difference okay okay <clears throat> okay now we will move to system testing okay what is system testing once all the components are integrated okay suppose in the initial level whenever the project is finalized in the one shot they cannot able to implement the entire whole project do you agree with this point Do you agree with my point or not? No, sir. No, sir. So, the dev team or the developers will implement module by module, component by component, and they will release it sprint by sprint, right? So, yes, sir. At at some time deadline, they have to finish the application. So. once the all modules or all components are integrated so 
doing the testing is called system testing each and every component each and every module if i click on login immediately log out what will happen if i click on login immediately search and log out what will happen if i click on login search add cart log out what will happen if i log out without adding add cart what will happen so i am telling you the corner cases because these are all different different components right yes sir. yes sir yes sir. okay so usually this system testing will be taken care by some experienced testers but you will also do the system testing in practice while learning okay next user acceptance test uat so this is very 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 important okay so user acceptance testing basically uh, this user acceptance testing will do by the uat team okay see it is a little bit different between product based organizations and service based organizations okay so yeah based organizations the uat team will be within your team only okay uh, some top level management or uh, higher management people will they come and do the uat testing as a first level of uat and if everything is working fine and good then they will give a uh, poc or uh, they will give a demo to the customers of the market okay but in the service based companies whenever in the agile methodology every two weeks the sprint is completed so we need to show the demo to the client okay and if it is working fine and no issues application is stable and robust then whatever the functionalities are implemented by the dev team and tested by the testing team it will be again retested from the client side so they will retest and they will acknowledge and they will give the sign off then only it will go to the production or live so if anything happen in the uat again it will be reverted to qa and qa need to retest and they will give to assurance okay my question in case in uh, please go on mute yeah in case one issue was identified in uat which was not identified from the qat so what will happen any answers Conflict the, the user will not accept. User will not accept the application. Okay, so what will be happen means again it will become from bottom to top. Okay, so the UAT team identifies this and a question will come to QA team. Why QA team has missed this one? Okay, fine. Then again you need to retest and you need to log a defect for that one and you need to. the developer give need to give a fix for that one again the developer give whatever the fix given by them it was again tested by the qa team after testing then again it will go to the uat right so you are understanding the cycle right so in yeah. case any issue identified in the uat then they will ask a question why qa team is missed this one why qa team is not identified okay fine then what they will do they will ask you to do okay please retest in qa environment in case if it is reproducible in the qa environment so you need to log a defect for that one assign it to the respective developer who has uh, uh, implemented coding for that one okay and he will give a fix for that and whatever the fix given by him again you need to retest in the qa environment and you can you need to recheck and reconfirm then it will go to again to uat clear yeah uh, sir i have one question here yes yeah so sir uh, uat testing is possible in production environment no 
okay so see if if anything will come in the production right then yeah. it will be escalation okay okay is so, it is raising sorry uh is it performing in the staging environment or no uh, this one user acceptance right uh yes sir yes yeah it will it will be doing the staging only the code which okay, is going you. for ready to live or ready to deploy in production same they will test okay okay so then how, how can we tackle the escalation see we need to face for that ready for that because upon the again security and priority okay sir see there might be spillovers somehow we need to agree our mistake it's our mistake only we need to accept that one and we need to be cautious for the next time okay so okay. Uh, the production issue we will fix in the next release yeah sorry come again uh, so if we uh, we we came to know the uh, production issue so this issue will be fix in the next release the current release is fine with the issue is this yeah yeah so the developer see sometime pt if it is a production right so yeah. the dev team has to be sit and do fix by in the same day yeah sometime okay. some situation emergency change okay uh, and immediately it will deploy to the qa and qa to has to test thoroughly and uh, after that again uat will do and then it will go into the live okay So, so same thing uh, again it depends totally upon depend your on the uh, uh, like so you have to enter yes sir yes i got it thank you okay now you are connecting with right how the impact of crt and priority yes sir okay yes sir yeah yes <coughs> so <coughs> sorry under this uat we are having alpha testing and beta testing okay so alpha testing will be done by the developers it is done from their end and beta testing okay so you can i already told you i already shown one geomart application okay so in your uh, mobile phone also in the play store you have an option early access for some applications right yeah early access so so for that particular application they don't have a particular testing team simply they will develop and put it in the production or live so they will ask you or you are the first testers for them okay so after using that application if you are finding any glitches or if you are finding any bugs or defects so you need to put it in their your comments or feedback they will consider your feedback and comments and they will improve their application okay yes sir Yes, okay so this is one can anyone tell me in generic way what is meant by verification and what is meant by validation verification validation in general way not related to software In verification, verification happen during the process and uh, validation is come after the verification sorry sorry come again uh like verification means uh, when we are doing something so we can prevent the error uh, and uh, uh, ranjana uh, yes. can you give an example which was not related to software like uh, suppose cooking uh, when we are making a food so uh, like we can taste during the uh, cooking like uh, the cook is uh, undercooked or overcooked or uh, like the salt is good or not and okay. when yeah when food is uh, done after that mm. we taste it so this is called validation okay anyone yeah this is khalil yeah kale yeah it's the best i think the, it is the best example for that 
we will get a ATM from the bank and then we go to the ATM to pin generate. Yes. Then we enter the card, then we get the banking. After they get the OTP is a verification. Enter the yeah. OTP is a validation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I Anyone want to give? A... Yeah, yeah. Good. Anyone want to give? Any example? In verification, we check the process. Uh, like we. Like and in validation, we check the product, like end product, like uh, if it is up to the mark or not. But in okay. verification, we... so, uh, simple, simple way can say like, what is meant by verification means whether whatever the expectations of a customer is reaching according to the requirement or not. That is called verification. Clear? Yeah. Reaching yeah. to the customer expectation based on the requirement, is it properly developed or implemented? That is called verification. Okay. Coming to validation. Evaluating thing. Okay. Is it correctly he was implemented or not? Okay, is it done the in the right way or not? Is he done in the correct, accurate manner or not? That is called validation. You got it now, right? What is meant by verification and validation? Any question to me? Okay, so you can take this example, Appa. This question. This is very simple. Are you building the product right? Are we building the product right? That is called verification. Validation. Are we building the right product? Okay. I would like to give an example. Okay. Uh, China want to <coughs> construct a house. That is his requirement. Okay. So he want to build a two floor building. Okay. So me and Viresh went over to China site and seen whether the construction is going or not. Okay. That is called verification. But validation, the workers who are doing the work, is it they are really constructing a building or they are called constructing a hut? Did you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Chinna is having a place. He want to construct a building, two floors building. Okay. Uh, so being as a friends of Chinna, me and Viresh went there. How is uh, Chinna's house? And so we went and seen. Okay, are the workers are really building or not? They are doing the construction or not? Okay. That is called verification and validation. Are they really constructing the building, two floor building, or are they are constructing the hut? Okay, so that is called verification and validation. Any doubts here? No, no sir. No, sir. Clear, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So Apina, no. higher uh, verification will be uh, in the software perspective. Verification will be carried out uh, through documents. Yes. The validation through uh, actual uh, application which we're going to uh, build. Yes. See, verification we will verify based on the requirements. SRS. So if you see the requirement only, then you are you came to now, right? What is the application? What is the functionality? What is the feature? By understanding the requirement, then only you will do the testing, right? Yeah. yeah. See, uh, Chinna. Uh, same coming to coming to your example only. Okay, so you want to construct a house, you are showing just land. But if you want to construct a house, you should have a plan, approved building plan. Yes, yes, sir. right, right. So, based on the plan only, the workers will construct your house or not. Yeah, Bina. 
okay after construction what will you do you will validate okay are they are constructing according to my plan or not okay in case you know you have given a plan but the workers constructed by their own are you satisfied no according okay. to my requirement they should what will happen so your money waste time waste right so again rework has to do right yes yes so that is the difference of verification and validation okay okay oh, yeah yeah okay. it's clear thank you yeah any questions <coughs> yes. okay yeah next Good. yeah functional and non functional so just we'll go through this and we can wind up the session for today okay yeah i will go up to functional and then we can start okay yeah functional so under this functional smoke testing will come sanity testing will come retesting will come regression testing will come exploratory testing will come monkey testing end to end test okay so we will go with one by one smoke test so it is nothing but testing the basic functionality okay so basic functionality basic flow of application in case inside the implementation there will be some spillovers or there will be some defects but major functionality is working fine or not so this is we are doing just top level of testing so that is called smoke level of testing when we will do this smoke level of testing whenever the dev team will give a <coughs> code to the deploy to the qa team so we need to do one round of smoke testing and we need to reply back to the mail to the all dev team members or all stakeholders okay hi team we have validated this build with smoke testing smoke testing is pass so it makes that giving an acknowledgement the deployment is completed from the dev team to qa team whatever the new code changes done by the dev team so you are acknowledging that smoke level is working fine okay in case whenever you have identified any issues in in smoke testing only so your testing will be block and you can stop that bus i'm stuck at this i'm not able to proceed in smoke testing only so i am blocked so that bug or that defect is a blocker so until unless the development team given fix for that one so you don't you can't able to proceed for that so understand right smoke testing any questions yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. yeah coming to sanity testing <coughs> so it is a testing technique performed by the testing team for some basic tests okay whenever you are receiving a new build okay so like how the testing team is 3 to 4 people or 5 to people similarly the dev team will also be some five people or six people will be there so every time all the six people will not give the build sometimes two to three people will be give and sometimes other three people will be working on some other and they will give in the next one so whatever the code or whatever the functionality implemented or developed by the dev team so is it came to the new build and is it deployed to the qa team and is it working fine or not doing such kind of testing is called sanity testing now you understood right differences between smoke and sanity no sir can you please repeat uh, ranjana suppose no. i am a developer you are a tester so okay. i implemented add to cart functionality only okay apart yes. from the previously implemented working is fine so you need to test only particular add to cart functionality 
so doing testing for the feature which was implemented newly and deployed to the QA from dev team to QA environment, doing such kind of testing is called sanity testing. Okay, sir. Got it? And yeah, and in smoke testing when we got the first first build. Yes. Yeah, got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So sometimes smoke test will be also called as BVD, build verification test also we can call. So in the interview prospect, they will ask difference between smoke and sanity. Okay. Next. <coughs> Retesting. Retesting is nothing but as I told yesterday in the bug life cycle, whenever you are raising any defect, the fix given by the developer and you need to retest for the fix. Doing such testing is called retesting. Any doubt in that? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Regression testing. Okay. Suppose Chinna has raised a defect. I am the developer. I am giving a fix for that. He retested that, but he need to do regression testing. Whatever the fix given by me, is it impacting or is it causing any problem to the other functionalities before and after of that one? So suppose if I given a functionality for login, but if I clicking on login, automatically the user is logging out. So whatever the code given by me, it will affect the functionality of logout. So is it good or bad? Is it bad, sir? Right. So, but I have a given fix for the login. He was able to log in, but the moment he is logging without his intervention, it, user is able to log out because of the fix given me. So we need to check. Suppose whatever the fix given by the developer, is it impacting, is it affecting the functionality or feature of the defect which you raised it before and after? That kind of testing is called regression testing. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. Okay. Coming to yes, sir. exploratory testing. Okay. So exploratory testing means Suppose if you went to new place, what will you do? We will explore. You will explore what, what is the famous places there? What is the favorite food? What is the uh, hotel? Good hotels are there. And what are the temples are there? What are the monuments are there? What are the famous things will be there? We will explore, go around, do that one, right? Similarly, <clears throat> in the exploratory testing also, Testing a software without any documents, without having any test case or test planning. Okay, so doing such kind of testing is called exploratory testing. So usually the testers will do this kind of exploratory testing when the developer is working on or implementing some feature. So they will go through the user story and they will go around test around that one and they will came to no knowledge about that particular function that is called exploratory test okay i would like to give an example uh yeah ram is there okay ram wants to purchase a car so he will do the test drive right he will go to the showroom and do the test drive yes. am i right or wrong ram yes sir Yes, sir. So you don't know about the car features or you don't know about how the car will be uh, performed and you don't know what is the gear functionality and everything. But you know driving, you went to the showroom and you want to do the test drive. So after test driving, you came to know, okay, these are the features it is having. These are the functionalities it is having. So without having any proper planning or documents, without having any documents, just go with the flow and doing the testing is called exploratory test. Okay. And monkey testing. Okay. So monkey testing is nothing but 
testing a software without any data or randomly okay so i would show one example okay so i am just want to check the availability button is there right are you able to see yes. my screen right so yes, i am yes, just, just clicking continuously okay if i click continuously what will happen or if i do this do this okay if i do departs if i do random if i do this do this do this so no any proper steps identifying some defects is called monkey test but if you identified any defects you need to log that one and when you are providing a sign off to the customer or client so in the document they mention this box these are the known issues these are already we observed when we are doing randomly okay <laughs> okay any doubts no okay yes okay last one end to end testing end to end testing is a methodology used to test whether the flow of an application from the starting to ending from the starting to ending from the initial level entering the url level to log out of from the application and closing the application from that point to end point doing each and everything each and every pin to pin module pin to pin functionality in and out testing is called end to end testing okay so is so this is, also called system testing end to yeah, end yeah there is there is there is not much more huge difference between system testing and end testing but we can interchange it into so system testing we can check the component level all the come but here we are testing from the pin to pin point level how the real user will test that one Okay. how the real customer will test that one that is the difference between system testing and end test so is it clear is right it come, is it comes under uat or uh, say, uh, qa involvement qa qa only okay okay 